what makes photography so powerful is because it's meant to be immediate. But that's a question that has doubts now since Photoshop has emerged. But in my day when I started photography, I believed in reality. And, and what makes photography so powerful to me is the reality of, of photography and the reality of great photography. Like people like, like Elliot Irwin, Cartier-Bresson, and Alex Webb, and, and great photographers that have made great photographs. You just have to continue and do your own work and um, try and see it through. I think it's very hard for young photographers because they don't have the support of the magazines like we used to have. And unless they want to photograph conflict, it's very hard for them um, to do the ordinary uh, you know, country doctor story like Eugene Smith did, which was such a great story. There's no place for those kind of human interest stories anymore. I think that's very sad. Um, but I just think you have to stick to it and, and find a way of doing your own story. Maybe you have another job and you do photographs because you love photography. And that's how you get through it. My advice to emerging photographers would be to be true to yourself and to follow your hopes and your dreams and to do your own thing. Um, and uh, feel that when your life comes to, when you get older and your life comes to an end or whatever, that you have a body of work that you're proud of. That's what's most important, that you have a body of work that you can be proud of. Well, I take pictures because that's what I do and that's what I've always done. And I can't imagine doing anything else. I think ethics, today ethics are a big issue because we're dealing with reality and often photographs and situations are altered and we're not told that. And I think that's, that's a big ethical question. Uh, we need to be told what's real and what's altered in photography because it's very easy for photographs to lie. So I, I think we must be told when, when something is altered or changed. The key to a successful long career in photography is just to, to stay inspired and, and keep doing your work and um, keep, keep doing good work and strong work and powerful work. And that's the key to a long and successful career in photography. When you look at the great photographers like the ones that are here at the festival, people like, like Alex Webb or Chris Anderson, he's much younger, but he has great work. I mean, and he started it when he was even younger. Um, I, I know he, Chris Anderson's going to have a long and amazing career. And Alex Webb, I mean, he's not an old man, but, but he's in his late 50s, but he's been working since he was very young, and he has a, many, many fantastic photographs. It's a long career. That, that's what makes photographers, uh, that's the key to a successful career, is to stay inspired and to keep doing work. Photo festivals are more important today than ever because we don't get the opportunity to see work as much as we used to because there aren't magazines like there used to be and we don't get to see the great photographs. So. I think that's very important and I think it's also important because you get to meet different editors and different photographers and it, it, it's very important.